Now here's a breakdown of the method that I use. I promote an affiliate product with mid to high ticket commissions. So it has to pay up to at least $250. Now the front end price could be low, such as $17 or $27, as long as in the back end, in the upsells or the, the one-time offers, the commission payouts are at least over $200. Okay, and I make sure to offer good bonuses and then I promote to my list. I know a lot of marketers already do this. It's a well-known method. And this is where I take things a little differently is I also create a funnel specifically for this promotion. And in this funnel, I give away a free product. And then on the thank you page, I, I mention my bonus. And to get this special bonus, uh, this is the lead or the customer has to purchase the affiliate product through my link. And when I create this funnel, I drive traffic to it every day of the launch. The benefits of this method is that you're sending a consistent message every day to your new subscribers during that first week that they join your list. And you may feel like you're spamming them, but what you're doing is you're educating your new subscribers about this offer and you're giving them more information to process because usually it does take an average of seven messages for someone to commit to buy something. I think that's the average in the marketing industry is you have to be exposed to an offer an average of seven times. And also when you're consistently writing messages about a certain product, you get more familiar with it and you get more uh, ideas and angles as the product launch goes on. Okay, another big benefit of this method is that you're earning big commissions, or at least you have the potential to earn big commissions, which in turn allow you to reinvest in more traffic and scale up. And also everything is just congruent from your funnel offers to your emails and your promotions. A lot of marketers, once they get new leads, they'll just promote products to them and probably promote different products every other day. But at least here, you're promoting the same product and you're not always being pushy. You're just educating them about the offer. And then maybe on the last day of the product launch, you could be a little pushy or just there's just that urgency factor. You can remind people that it's the last day before the offer closes. Welcome to these training videos. This is actually a case study of how I made $2,000 and added 400 new subscribers to my list in a matter of days. I did this just a couple of weeks ago and I haven't seen anybody use this method before. In the following videos, I'm going to give you a breakdown of what I did. I'm going to show you the system that I used, the traffic that I used, and although having a list helps, if you're just getting started with no list, that's okay. You can use this method to start building a list today. And hopefully this case study and the training is going to give you some fresh new ideas to making money online and building your business. Now I want to show you the funnel that I created specifically for this affiliate promotion. Here is the first version of the landing page that I created. I created two versions uh, because this first one didn't convert too well. I ended up making a second one on the first day of the launch and the second one converted much better. But let's take a look at the first one I created here. There's some urgency. It says this page will be taken down soon. Uh, the headline focuses on the bonus that I'm offering and uh, which is a PLR membership. And the affiliate product that I'm promoting in this case is also a PLR product. So, you know, if you're going to create a funnel for your affiliate promotion, the products that you're offering have to be related to uh, the affiliate product you're promoting. Okay. And I even created a sales video with a countdown timer. Now let's take a look at the second landing page I created, which converted much better. The headline is emphasizing the actual product I'm giving away. Okay, I'm using the same sales video.
Now here is the thank you page. Right after people subscribe, it says, wait, here's how to get a free lifetime membership to my monthly PLR videos. So this is the bonus I'm offering. And in this video here, I talk about my bonus and how they can get my bonus, which is by purchasing the affiliate product through my link, which is right here. Okay. And there's a no thanks link here so that they can be taken directly to their download. Now here is the download page where I put the download link at the top and on the bottom here again I put the, the video where I promote my bonus just in case they missed the video on the thank you page. And again here's a link or my affiliate link to the affiliate product. Now there are various traffic sources that you can use to drive traffic to your funnel. If Facebook is your thing, then use Facebook. Now, as for me, one of my main sources of traffic is solo ads. And a solo ad is where you purchase uh, a solo ad from somebody. And what happens is that person that you purchase a solo ad from will email their list promoting your free offer. So here's a site, udemy.com, uh, that I go to to buy my solo ads. And there are dozens of solo ad sellers here. And I'm just going to quickly go down the list here. And I actually bought most of my solo ads for this campaign from just one person. I believe I purchased a total of around 1,400 clicks from this one person person and that actually spread it out over each day of the launch. Now it's up to you uh, how often you want to drive traffic to your funnel. But what I did was I purchased at least 100 clicks each day. And then whenever I made sales or whenever I made commissions, I just reinvested that into more traffic. And so I even bought solo ads on the last day of the launch. And what's great is the person that I was buying it from was able to send traffic almost within minutes of me buying from him. Now I should note that not every solo ad seller is going to bring in a high quality traffic. So if you're new to solo ads, what I recommend is you buy from multiple sellers and just buy as low as you can. I believe the minimum purchase amount here is 25 or 50 clicks. And you could also click on each of their profiles here to get an idea of their ratings and the feedback from previous buyers. But you, if you're new to solo ads or if you've never bought a solo ad from a particular seller, you don't know how well your offer is going to convert with their list. So that's why it's good to start out small when buying for the first time from a solo ad seller. Now, how many times did I mail my list? Well, I sent a total of 19 emails to my list throughout the seven day launch. And this includes one pre-launch email. And I also sent a couple of emails to only a couple of my lists that were very targeted. Other than that, I sent at least one email each day to my entire list and most of my emails were actually centered around my bonus so that's the benefit of having a good bonus is that you have a good reason to mail your list and you're going to stand out from all the other affiliates that are promoting the same product and on the very last day of the launch uh, that's when i sent around three or four emails because the last day of the launch uh, a lot of people know this, but the last day of the launch is the mo usually the most profitable day of the launch. There's urgency, the offer is going to close, and a lot of people that are on the fence, that's when you decide to make their purchase. So you have to capitalize on the last day of the launch. If you are new to online marketing, you do need an autoresponder to collect leads and to send out emails to your leads 
And what I use is get response. I've used this for several years now and I highly recommend it. Of course, there are several other options out there for you that you can look, look into, but I'm just speaking from my experience and this is what I use. I hope you enjoyed my case study and I encourage you to try out the methods that I showed you in this course. And also, don't be afraid to test out different variations because I know everybody is different, everybody's business is different, and also it all depends on the affiliate product that you're promoting. It might require changes to the strategy. So I've just started promoting a new product launch and the way I've set up the funnel is different and I didn't even create my own bonuses for this new product launch that I'm promoting. I'm just using the bonuses that were provided to me by the vendor and also I'm using the bonus page that was provided to me. So, you know, if you want to test things out, then go ahead and use the bonuses that are provided for you. Although I do believe, you know, if you do have the time and you create your own bonuses, your own unique bonuses, you will be more successful. Now, I also didn't make any sales videos for my new campaign for the landing page. So if you're afraid to make sales videos or you don't know how, don't worry. You don't have to make sales videos. And as for my thank you page for the new funnel that I've just built, I'm just using the bonus page that was provided to affiliates, okay? And you also don't have to promote uh, a product launch that lasts only for a few days. You could look for an affiliate product that's evergreen so that you can continue to drive traffic to your funnel for weeks, months, or even years and build a big list with it. And also in my case study, I used soul ads for my traffic. And like I said, you know, there are various traffic sources out there. So if you can't afford solo ads, uh, you could use free traffic sources such as social media, blogging, YouTube, etc.